We're 36 hours away from the polls opening in Tuesday's election. One of the main races we're watching is for state superintendent. News 3's Danica Lewis sat down with both candidates making their last minute pleas for votes. Danica. Well, Theo, we're talking about two of the most contentious issues around the state right now, especially for those school boards and parents out there. Public school funding and allowing families in failing school districts to use tax dollars to send their kids to private schools. We have two very different views on those issues from the two superintendent choices. On drastically different sides of the debate, the race for Wisconsin education's top spot pits current superintendent Tony Evers against state representative Don Pridemore. Part of Evers' platform is a fair funding plan, which he says shifts more money to high poverty districts. We really changed the way our funding is, is distributed in the state of Wisconsin to make it more fair, more transparent, making sure that every school district and every kid gets some kind of general state aid behind them. Evers is okay with increasing taxes to make that happen, but Pride Moore disagrees and says until more job-ready graduates are increasing the state's tax pot, the state shouldn't be pouring more public money into education. Right now in these economic times, I don't feel justified going to the taxpayers and asking for more money because uh, more money really uh, should be tied to performance. Pride Moore is all for letting parents in failing school districts send their kids to private schools with state funded vouchers, something he says has worked well in Milwaukee. Private schools that take these kids actually are able to uh, put out a better product, in my opinion, for less money. And the taxpayers are all, always interested in ideas like that. Evers argues private school vouchers are not improving education and says Governor Walker's pitch to expand the program is flawed. No matter how you look at the data, the data clearly show that the schools that are in the voucher program don't achieve at any higher levels or the kids in those schools don't achieve it at any higher level. So to suggest that somehow choice in and of itself is a best practice, I don't buy that. I mean, that just doesn't compute for me. Now, another significant difference between these two candidates, their funding campaign finance reports showed Evers raised almost six times as much money as Pride Moore. You can cast your vote for state superintendent this Tuesday, April 2nd. A couple of statewide races and also a whole bunch of local races. That's so. absolutely right. All right, Danica, thank you. Sure thing.